Moments from now, the setting is Detroit, the Motor City, the Hornets taking on the Pistons. For Charlotte, proving to be a top team in the East, a grip on third place in the conference, and they're not letting go. Pistons, Hornets, coming up next. Put me on top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough, speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, not one too far for me. Never caught off, not one day. Oh, but I'm still on my way. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. This is Kevin Harlan and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Beer, And from the sideline, David Aldridge. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. They've got Miller. Miles Bridges is out there with Nick Richards. Then there's Cody Martin. And it's Dixon in at the five. And for the Pistons, we've got Isaiah Stewart. He's out there with Dirk. And it's Grimes in at the shooting guard position. And right now, we've got a matchup, Brent, between two defensive-minded teams going head-to-head. -head. This should be fun. Yeah, this is a no-easy buckets night. Everything will be earned tonight. That's the way we like it. High-level defense. Here we go. So the Hornets win the tip. Here's Dixon. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. That one's in his first shot this game. Nice effort taking the early lead. Came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in. Something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. And that one, good. And, and being taller than most point guards, he puts that length to use. Hornets have gone two or three here to start off the game. Dixon passes to Miller. Sinks the three-pointer. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. One and a half minutes played so far. To the inside. There's the killer two-handed slam. Back to Bridges. He kicks it to Martin. Bridges sets the screen for Martin. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Great defense that time from Dixon. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Martin the pass to Dixon. Fires from deep. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Bridges passes to Dixon. Outside for Martin. From the arc, and he's good on the three ball. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Miller, the pass to Dixon, and he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would... Fires the three. Sasser gets the bucket. Now just a five-point Hornets lead. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Dixon. 13 points in the game. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Here, guys. He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Durin out there with Javante Green. 
and it's Sasser in at the point. That's the group for Detroit right now. Oh, man. And Poku with the processing speed just got rid of that one quick. About. His effort and just his overall relentlessness. Yeah, going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. Oh man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Twenty. For his ninth make in just 12 shots, that's an even 75% shooting. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game. Here's Dixon. 23 points in the game. Now the best of man. Here's Dixon to end the run. And it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. 10 of 15 in the contest. Man, he is in the zone right now on offense, guys. Here's Sasser. 14 points for him. A pointer. Dixon grabs the rebound. Dixon's got five rebounds tonight. For three. And it's the Hornets, another three. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far at four for the game. Asher guarded by Dixon. Back to Thompson. Whoops, they pick off the pass. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. The Hornets have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Jalen Duran, he's jacked in for Wiseman. Whatever city Kitty was in, like really so. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. A nice shot by Dixon. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck and neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively, as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. Passes it to Grind. Off target from three-point range. The team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's Dixon. He has 35. Miller outside. Good on the three-point shot. Miller's got six. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asked, with a team being young as opposed to a team being veteran, that coaches are going to find creative ways to get more practice time in. We know practice time is where teams improve the most. You know, that pass there underneath the charge circle to score, but this time adjusting the power on that mid-range J. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Townsend's halftime. Out to the right wing. Here's Dixon. He's got 39. And the basket is good. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. There's the drive. Here's Dixon. Again, the Hornets score. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Pick down low. Here's Durant. It's deflected. Fast break now for Shaw. Oh. And not just the score. Miller conditioned as well, showing great vision on that play. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Again. And again the basket from Dixon. Dixon's got 47 points. 
And this is right around the time when one team might start in here. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing from the captain. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long-range assault. Pass to Dixon. There's a screen. Shoots the three. Connects again. Historic 50-point night. What a streak he's on. With this performance, he now has the longest streak of 50-point games in NBA history. That turned into no cover. Well, some great passers have come into the league this season. Let's see which rookies are tops in assists. And you look at Dixon, an uncommonly gifted passer. Williams with a clean look. Connects from three-point range. Williams has got eight points. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that. I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups. So maybe just a step too far. We've got Durham. Thompson is out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Grimes in at the two -point. That's the group for Detroit right now. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the son of silver platter just served him up? Here's Dixon. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Dixon's got 55. Uh, with the finish line in sight, this guy is determined to be the one to put the game away. Pass to Sasser. It's blocked by Dixon, and he's able to be at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Here's Dixon, takes it inside. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a He's covered by Thompson. In the corner, it's Bridges. Thompson comes with the double team. Back to Bridges. It's the three-point bomb. Just so precise. By Dixon. Back to Thompson. It's stolen by Martin. Driving the lane for three. Bridges. And it's the Hornets another three. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting. Be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? Bridges, no one around him. And it's the Hornets, another three. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. The cap. That draft pick penalty is especially tough. Yeah, I mean, if a team is over that 17 and a half million mark twice in a four-year span, their first round draft pick falls to the end of the first round. That'll sting. Here's Dixon. He got it again. Sensational. Make that 61 points. Yep, everything is going his way right now. Want to go down 2-0. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for the captain. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him. Of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory. Al Flynn. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlow. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.
you've been on an unbelievable tear lately, breaking the record for consecutive 50-point games. Do you worry that you're setting the bar too high? Is anything less than this going to be a disappointment? I mean, I'm all about setting the bar high and pushing myself to new heights. There's always a risk of falling short, but that's the nature of the game. Um, the key is to focus on the process, not the outcome. I'm going to continue to work hard, stay focused, and give 100% effort every time I step on the court. Um, that's what's most important to me, and that's what determines my success. If you don't set the bar high, you aren't challenging yourself, and you won't get better.